Rescue me, rescue me, rescue me. We are excited to be down here at San Luis Obispo Animal Services with dogs and cats and do we, I think we have a pig or something. We have a YouTube. pig, we have goats, we have a rooster. Yeah, so we have lots of things for adoption right now and we wish you would come down and meet everybody and see if you can find a good friend or a good pal for your house. And if you don't find a good friend, we can have volunteers, Deborah. Yeah, please come down and think about volunteering. We could really use more volunteers helping to get dogs out, train dogs, walk dogs, help feed cats, clean, <laughs> do some cleaning, <laughs> all that kind of thing. Anything that you would like to do, we can help you do down here. It's, and, and we have a wonderful dog training program, which really has been very interesting for the volunteers. Wouldn't you agree, Deborah? I, absolutely. It you really know, has enriched your, the volunteer experience here to be able to learn how to train the animals. So that's another thing we can offer you as a volunteer. Most volunteers come down here because we love dogs or we love cats, but we're not experts necessarily. So it's really nice having Karen here teaching us new things so that we can help the dogs and the cats, and it's all about getting animals into homes. Yes, like this little petunia here. Is she the cutest little she thing you have ever, ever seen? This is Lily. She's about four years old. She came from kind of a chaotic first home. Um, she was out in foster for five days with our resident dog expert, Joan, down here. And these are the things she had to say about Lily. House trained as long as she's given opportunities to get outside. She loves to ride in the car. She sits quietly. She loves to go on walks. Um, she'll bark a little bit at other dogs if they walk by her house, but then I'll mind do the same thing. Yeah. She is extremely devoted to her person, so she is going to love whoever adopts her very much. She's very active. She's agile. She's healthy. She's playful. She's photogenic. Qu very, she's very <laughs> photogenic. She's a quick learner. Uh, she's apparently very good at catching flies, which... My own Chihuahua at home is also very good at catching flies, or at least he tries. Um, she's okay with other dogs. She gets a little jealous of other dogs getting attention from the owner. She'll kind of growl at them a little bit, but there's nothing behind it. So she is just a funny little girl with a big old Chihuahua personality. And speaking from, you know, personal experience, the Chihuahuas have enormous personalities. So this is Lily, and her ID number is 216-806, and she is a little doll. Oh my gosh, this dog is sweet. We love this guy. This is Mr. D. Um, he was so shy when he first came in and so scared here, but he's really coming out of his shell. He's an incredibly affectionate dog. Uh, he's, he likes to play with, uh, he, we've had him with a couple other dogs. He's enjoyed hanging out with them and playing. Just a really sweet guy. Uh, he's just about four years old and his ID number is 203-897. This is Mr. D. Oh, this is Sweet Angel. She is our longest residing dog. She has been here since January 13th. And she hasn't gone crazy. She hasn't gone crazy. She does very well here. Um, she was pretty reactive to other dogs when she first got here, but actually her re reactivity level has really mellowed out incredibly. Since I think, we sh I think she could live with another dog now. She would probably prefer to be the only dog because she's so just all about people. But we love this dog. She's got. She comes with an hour of free training from our dog behaviorist. Oh, that's here. that's worth a gold mine right it's, there. It can make an incredible difference. But she's really such a good girl. We love this dog. Half of her adoption fee is paid, so you know it. That saves you more than fifty dollars on the adoption plus all the other good things that come with adoptions from animal services. Please come down and meet Angel. We just love this girl. Her ID number is two one three three six zero, Angel. Oh, this little sweetie came in as a stray from uh, um, Oceano, and um, I'm just, we think he's about 12 years old, but he's really active and healthy and funny. He's a little uh, either Chihuahua or Min Pin mix, just a really neat little guy. We're going to call him Boston, and because he's 12, he gets the senior rebate, which means you get a third $35 off on his adoption fee or get that rebated back to you, so that's helpful. And the older dogs act like puppies anyway especially when they're tiny like this when I was gonna say especially when they're little guys they last a long time and they go 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 uh, this he's already neutered so he is ready to leave and go home with you as soon as you adopt him his ID number is two two zero five nine three this is Boston
I win. I win in your face, USA, USA, USA. Think of all the fun you can have with an adopted pet. Contact your local shelter or pet adoption center. Backgammon. Oh, this is sweet Dallas. She's about eight years old. She's a little bit of a plus size model. She needs to take off a pound or two, but she is a darling girl. She does well with other dogs. She does not, however, do well with apparently chickens. Uh, chickens would get dispatched well, by Maybe Dallas. she does too well with chickens. Yeah, she likes, maybe she likes them too much. Um, so she, she's, uh, despite her looks, she's not a ranch dog. She's a home dog. Well, she looks uh, beautiful. Look at the colors on that coat. It's gorgeous. She, she's absolutely gorgeous. She is a sweet, sweet dog. She needs to get out of here. And half of her adoption has been paid. That will save you more than, 30, more than $50 on your adoption. So come down here and meet this sweet girl. She just wants a nice... Nice house to hang out in, take walks, lay on the couch and watch TV. Her ID number is 214187. This is Dallas. Look at this beautiful dog. He was turned in, well, he came in so covered in fleas, it was just awful. But he's not covered in fleas anymore and he is absolutely beautiful. He's shy. It takes him a while to warm up to people. He loves other dogs, um, and it, but it takes him a while with people that he doesn't know. I don't think he got a lot of socialization wherever he was before he came here, but you can see he loves Larry, so he's going to love whoever takes him home and is nice to him, cares for him, gives him the occasional bath, makes sure he isn't covered in fleas. He's just really a gentle, sweet dog, and he's beautiful. Don't you think so, Randy? He is a gorgeous looking dog, and he's a larger dog if you want a big dog. He's big enough. He's for hugging. He is a, <laughs> a good size for hugging, and he's only like two. He's a very young boy. His ID number is 220474. We love this dog very much. This is Shadow. Another tiny dog, Deborah. Yes, yeah, she is, and she's a doll. She's a little bit shy with new people. She's a little bit scared, but she's a very sweet dog. She does very well with other dogs, and once she knows you and trusts you, she likes to sit in your lap and be petted, and she just wants to be a companion to somebody. Probably best in, a, in, a, in an adult home, or at least or with older kids, just because she doesn't like you know people coming at her, too much yelling and, <laughs> and screaming and stuff like that. Well, so if you were that small, <laughs> you wouldn't like a bunch of screaming people either. No, I wouldn't. I really <laughs> wouldn't. And she also has half of her adoption fee paid, so that's more than $50 saved on her adoption. She's about seven years old, which is still young in the small dog world, and just a really nice little girl. Ginger's ID number is 219089. Come down and meet her if you have a quiet household that you'd like to bring her home to. This is Dallas, another female named Dallas. Um, her, her folks could no longer keep her. She was actually turned in with a dachshund that she misses very much. So she is pretty good with other dogs. Um, she's kind of a wild child. She's only about a year and a half old. She could use a little bit more training, but she's um, very loving and very sweet. You know, when, when she learns her manners a little bit more, she's going to be a great dog. Well, that's has, true of every dog that you get anywhere. You've got to train them. Well, it would help. It would certainly, <laughs> I think we'd get less, fewer dogs down here in the first place if they got a little bit more training in their and homes. And the people will enjoy their dogs all the more yes. if they're well behaved. But she sure is pretty, and she's a really affectionate, sweet girl. Half of her adoption fee is paid. That will save you more than $50, and her ID number is 970851. <laughs> she sure likes Greer. Kisses are free. <laughs> I love this little dog. This is Eddie. He's the cutest thing ever. Um, well, at least one of the cutest things ever. He is just a total and complete lap dog. He's just about a year old. He's just a baby. And if he had his way, he would just be on your lap all the time. He does very, very well with other dogs. He's just a friendly, happy little dude that just wants to sit on your lap and apparently right now maybe take a nap. Yeah, he's looking a little sleepy there. He's looking there. a little drowsy over there. Yeah. Um, Eddie's Eyes are getting heavy. <laughs> 
<laughs> I think we're boring him. <laughs> you have to, I don't know, whip it up out Wake here. Wake up. He's boring the dog to death there. There uh, he is. <laughs> Eddie's ID number is 220-572. Absolutely darling little pup. Good night, Eddie. <laughs> Good. This is a really cute little guy. He must have a license or something or a name tag on. He just came into the shelter today, which is September 25th. His name is Rupert. Maybe he's got a microchip. He's got something going on. So we're hoping that we, we if, if there was contact information, if we found that on a microchip or on a license or on a tag, then we called it. Unfortunately, sometimes um, people don't update their information on those things. And so even though a dog is licensed or microchipped, we call the numbers or go by the address and we don't, the people are not there. So anyway, Rupert is down here. He's a darling little dog, about two years old, we think. Picked up in San Luis Obispo. So somebody should be looking for this sweet little guy. And if you've ever seen this dog, you know who it belongs to. Call him up, say, go get your dog. Go get Rupert. His ID number is 220-723. I cannot believe nobody is looking for this sweet dog. This guy was picked up on the 19th of September in Atascadero, uh, Portola and Ardea. And he is just so sweet. He's gentle. He's quiet. He can't figure out why the heck he's here. Um, we're calling him Gus. That's not his, that hasn't been his name. It is now. But somebody should either come redeem this baby or come down and meet this sweet, gentle guy. He would be a wonderful companion. His ID number is 220607. This is a really nice dog. She is a really good ball dog. She's good with other dogs. She seems to be house trained. She's sweet and happy. When she gets excited, she barks. And so some people take that wrong. They think she's being aggressive or something. She isn't. She's just, as Larry says, she's vocal. And so, people who speak dog know that. That's right. So you got to speak a little dog. But she is a super sweet, very nice dog. About four years old. Just that sort of perfect age. Just young, out of puppyhood, and just, she is a sweet, sweet dog. Chewy's ID number is 220-207. Um, Biscuit's owners could no longer keep him, but they say nice things about him. Gets along with other dogs, they said, as long as, depending on the other dog's attitude. So I'm thinking if the other dog is easy and easygoing and happy and just friendly, then, then he's fine. He's been okay down here with other dogs. He just likes to pick his own friends. Well, and you know what? <laughs> so do I. And a lot of that depends on their attitude, too. Um, Biscuit's just about two years old. Just a really nice, medium-sized, good-looking dog. His ID number is 220181. This is Biscuit. These two were picked up in Napomo, um, almost feral, really. They had no idea what a leash was, absolutely terrified of it, um, terrified of people, just scared of everything. And they have come a tremendous ways. I mean, they're still, you know, with the people that they don't know, even with us who they do know, it takes them a minute to warm up to you, but they have come so far, it's unbelievable. Um, they're, they're nice dogs. They're extremely bonded. It's a buy one, get one situation. Uh, they're half price. We really, really would like them to go together because they are so bonded to each other. She is especially bonded to him and he's probably her son. Um, so we really want them to go together, but they they need to go somewhere where not too much is expected of them at first. They got to go to a home where they're allowed to just kind of be themselves, to warm up to you slowly, to get comfortable with you slowly. And just, you know, not expected to be taken to dog parks and be all happy and peppy with people. They just need a quiet, gentle place to learn who they are and that the world is an okay place. Uh, we're calling them Queenie and Buddy. Queenie is the little one. She's about five years old, we think, and her ID number is 219989. Buddy's a little bit bigger. We think he's about three, and his ID number is 219990. They're going to make someone some really nice pets, but they just have to go to the right place where they'll be understanding of where they've come from. But do know, please, they have come a long way already. Thank you. 
All right, folks, brand spanking <laughs> new to the shelter. This little guy was just picked up on the 25th of September in Napomo uh, on Hazel and Teft. And he's a beautiful puppy, about seven months old, obviously a Siberian Husky. Somebody should be looking for this dog, but he's going to be up for adoption if no one comes and claims him. His ID number is 220721. Folks, please put ID on your dogs, whether it's tags, whether you take a nice wide collar and take a Sharpie marker and at least write your phone number on it. Get your dogs microchipped, please. So much information can be kept on a microchip. We could have this dog home if he'd had ID on him. So please, please ID your animals. Be responsible pet owners. Being, be caring pet owners. And the first place in San Luis Obispo County that you should look for a lost dog is San Luis Obispo Animal Services between Morro Bay and San Luis. We are the only shelter that strays are taken to in the entire mm -hmm. county. So please, if your dog is lost, we should be the first place you go. Please check our website, but come here and look for your animal. ID number 220721. This is a beautiful young husky. This nice dog's name is Bear. He is very handsome, um, kind of dog selective. So he likes some dogs and not other ones. But with people, he's absolutely incredible. Very good with, um, I mean, he's just terrific with people. He's very loving, very sweet. Uh, his name is Bear. He's about four years old. His ID number is 220615. Welcome to the cat portion of the program. We're starting out with Kitty, and Kitty is a wonderful cat. She loves the lap. She loves to be petted. She is ID number 220417, and guess what? Half of her adoption fee has been paid. That's right. We're so motivated to get Kitty out of here that half her adoption fee is paid. So that's going to save you money and get you a wonderful cat. Kitty's ID number 220417. Kitty. Here we have Boku, and Boku is a three-year-old boy. He's a big tabby, as you can see. His ID number is 219996, and if you love big tabbies like I do, you're going to love Bo. Koo. ID number 219996. Here's a sweet girl. She's only six months old. Her name is Phoebe. She is ID number 220479. That's Phoebe. Next up, we have Hendrix. Hendrix is a boy, just about three years old. He is a beautiful tabby. ID number 220008. Hendrix. Say hi to Sherbert. Sherbert is a gal, just about two years old, and look at her gorgeous coloring and the eyes to match. She is a lovely buff color, and she has those nice topaz eyes. She's also half adoption fee paid, so if you come down here and fall in love with her, half her adoption fee has already been paid. Her ID number, 219992. That's Sherbert. Next up, we've got Polka Dot. Good name for her. This is a tortoiseshell. She is just about one year old, and her ID number is 220639. Polka Dot has been an indoor cat her whole life, so it would be good if she were an indoor cat with you. If you love the tortoiseshell, ID number 220639, Polka Dot is a great one. Here's a gorgeous cat. We're naming this cat Milady. Isn't she beautiful? A tortoise shell. She is ID number 220009. Now I know there are many of you out there who love an all gray cat. Well, Shadow is really a beautiful all gray cat. We are treating his right eye, so don't worry about that. He's just about six months old, and his ID number is 220243. That's Shadow.
Here's another gorgeous tortoise shell. We don't usually have a lot of tortoise shells, but today we have a couple of few. This is Paisley. She is just about a year old, and her ID number is 220640. Now, Paisley has been an indoor cat her whole life, so it would be good if you are looking for a strictly indoor cat that you take her. ID number 220640, Paisley. Hi, Elsa. Isn't she gorgeous? Elsa is about six years old. She's a long hair caligo. I think she's gorgeous. ID number 220667. So if you're a calico lover, come on down and meet her. ID number 220667. Here's a pretty little girl. This is Tumbleweed, and she is a tabby on white. Look at her gorgeous green eyes. ID number 220495, Tumbleweed. You black and white lovers, you're going to love Sam. Sam is just about 10 months old. ID number 220660, Sam. Well, this is a gorgeous cat. We've named her Cameo, and her ID number is 220457. She's got everything going on in her fur. She's got Torty, she's got Tabby, she's got Calico. Her name is Cameo, and she's ID number 220457. Here's an orange tabby. People are crazy for orange tabby. This is Tango, just about four years old. ID number 220366. And you know the orange tabbies always get the parts on TV and in the movies. ID number 220366, Tango. Now here's a cat who's got a collar on. This cat came into us with her collar and nobody's come to claim her yet. This is a lovely, lovely cat. We found her on Highway 46, 41 East and Sycamore Road in Atascadero. Are you missing this cat? Now, if you have a collar on a cat or a dog, if you put your phone number on that collar, we can get your animal back to you. But this person who owns this cat did not do that. So Pickles, that's what we're calling her, is here with us. So please, 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 if you think to put a collar on your animal, also put your phone number on that collar. It really will help to get your animal back to you. Pickles ID number 220695. If she doesn't get picked up by her owner, she's available for adoption and she is lovely. 220695. Say hi to Skippy. This guy is just five months old and he's kind of scared here. He is a polydactyl. That means he has six toes on his front paws. Many people like a polydactyl. Well, if you're one of them, Skippy is the cat for you. ID number 220154. And while you're at it, if you've got any time, why don't you think about coming down here and helping us out with the cats? You can socialize them, pet them, get them out of these small, small cages. It makes them so much more adoptable and socialized. Right now, consider getting Skippy out of here. ID number 220154. Hello, Sandy. Here's another scaredy cat. She's very, very shy, but she's coming out of her shell. She is a beautiful tortoise shell, just about two years old, and her ID number is 220678. Sandy. Here's a sweet little girl. This is Tabitha. She is a beautiful tabby. She's just 11 months old, and her ID number is 220650. Tabitha. Say hi to Neal. She is female. She's just about three months old, and her ID number is 219935. Since she is a black cat, we have a program which is called the Black Cat Rebate, and you'll get $25 back on your adoption fee if you adopt her. So consider Neal 219935.
Here's another black cat. Her name is Liz. She's just about four years old, and she qualifies for the black, black cat rebates. Yes, $25 back if you adopt any of our black cats. Consider Liz, ID number 220641. Oh, no. Banzai Cat is attacking the village. Mighty Banzai Cat is stalking before the final kill. We'll never get out of here alive if he sees us. We'll never escape in time. Ah! Medic! Medic! Is this the end of civilization? Mighty Bonsai Cat waits no more! Ah, with one flick of the tail, it's all over! Colonel, where's that airstrike order? That... Mm, the bombers are useless against Bonsai Cat! Think of all the fun you can have with an adopted pet. Contact your local shelter or pet adoption center. Okay, here's another one of those orange tabbies. Very, very popular. This is Ranger. He is just about eight months old, and his ID number is 220621. Ranger. Here's a very, very shy cat, and here's where you can come in and help us if you want to volunteer with us to socialize some of these cats. We're looking at Bolt right now. She is... Uh, Tabby on white, just about six months old, ID number 220635. Say hi to Bart. He's a little scared here at the shelter. It's not a great place to be. As you can see, he's a black cat, so he qualifies for the black cat rebate. He's only four months old, and he's been at this shelter already a month. I mean, that's terrible to be in these small spaces for that amount of time. Please, please, please consider getting Bart out of here. ID number 219947, Bart, and he qualifies for the black cat rebates. Hello, Sandy. Here's another scaredy cat. She's very, very shy, but she's coming out of her shell. She is a beautiful tortoise shell, just about two years old, and her ID number is 220678. Sandy. Sandy. 